Hey guys, how are we all? Welcome or welcome back to the Twister Bones podcast where each week I sit down and I read and react to a bunch of spooky, scary, horrifying and weird stories that range from ghosts and the paranormal to the real life encounters with creepy people or potentially dangerous people and today we have another one, another ghost story over from yourghoststories.com. I'm obsessed with this website but like I do each week I just have a few things to quickly go over before I do actually get into this week's story. So first of all I will always credit the people who wrote these stories so all of their information will be in the description of each episode so if you want to go and support the content creators that way go and check out their links secondly if you have your own ghost story or scary story whatever sort of story you have and you want it to feature in a future episode please 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 reach out to me and send your story over I would absolutely love to read it out there's a few ways that you can do this so we've got a Facebook page which is just twist the bones podcast you can email it to me which is twist the bones pod at gmail.com or you can type it up over on the subreddit which is just twist the bones podcast and I think they're the main three ways you can do that I would absolutely love to read out your stories guys so please if you have one no matter how big or small just send it over and finally I am going to be taking a couple weeks off from the podcast just because we've got a crazy few weeks and I don't want to be rushing or missing out on a decent podcast episode so I think I'm just going to take a couple weeks off just to deal with the craziness of real life and everything that we've got going on and then I will be back it won't be too long probably only two three weeks I just wanted to let you guys know I am coming back I'm not just leaving it (laughs) but I do need a couple weeks off to just deal with the craziness of real life but I think that's everything so shall we get into this week's story so like I said we are on the yourghoststories.com website this one is called the old furniture room and this is written by Jess BCR 25 and I believe it's in the state of North Carolina over in the US so let's get into it Out of all my experiences, I'm surprised I haven't thought to write about my grandparents' house until now. Currently, they are living in a retirement home, but for 27 years, they lived in a beautiful home in the woods in North Rayleigh. Ten or more of those years, I'd spent nearly every weekend at that house with them, from Friday to Sunday night. And in all those years, I never got over my fears. Just something about that house, or probably the property more like. I'm not sure, but I think they were the only people that ever lived in it. It was actually a really nice neighbourhood, but it was heavily wooded in between each home. I also would like to add before I jump in, is that this house was really fancy. Nice walls and carpet and just great architecture. And just in case anyone wonders if it was some old beaten up house, it definitely was not. The earliest memory of my fears was their windows, but only at night. This might be a common fear, I'm not even sure. They had tall windows that went from the floor to almost the ceiling in most of the rooms. And at night, I was so frightened walking from the living room across the house into the guest room that I slept in. I would hold on to my grandma so tightly while walking with her. I think my biggest worry was imagining a creepy man being able to watch me, or all of us, but we can't see him. They didn't have curtains, but they did have blinds, and they didn't pull them down in the beginning until I begged my grandma to when I got older. But I was still a kid at this time. She thought I was so strange for being so afraid. My grandma is the most gentle, sweet, quiet, feminine little grandma you could imagine. I felt totally safe with her. It was just that house. They had an old furniture room that was directly next to the guest room I slept in. Oh, and by the way, I didn't start sleeping in there until around age nine. I slept with my grandma in their room, and we made my grandpa sleep in the guest room for the first couple of years I was going there. Back to this old furniture room. There was an antique couch and two matching chairs. A Bible from the early 1900s that I have today, a creepy clown velvet picture hung up, and pictures of my grandma's family on the wall from her childhood. I was completely afraid of this room, or all of the rooms on this wing of the house, but this one especially. I pinned it on the clown picture, but now that I'm older, I'm realising it's just that whole part of the house. I had toys in that closet, so I usually had to go in there if I wanted to get my toys out. When exiting, I had to run. Something inside me made me feel like I had to run and that feeling lasted until my 20s. I'd run across the house into the living room where I felt the safest, apparently. I'd look back and, of course, see nothing had chased me. One particular day, I was in the bathtub and heard who I swore was my grandma walking back and forth outside of the bathroom. It was only us home. I'd called for her to see if she'd pop her head in so I could ask what she was doing, but I got no answer. And after my bath, I'd gotten dressed, I found her in the living room doing Bible study, and she said she'd not been back there at all. That gave me chills, because I know the sound of them walking on the thick carpet. It's not too heavy, but you still just get familiar with the sounds. I had my step-sibling stay with me for a weekend before, and they too heard the steps while they were taking a shower, 
but thought or asked if it was me. I had another childhood friend stay with me and she got an awful vibe from those back rooms as well, but never my grandparents. They never felt what I felt. It only got worse when I was older, not better unfortunately. Still ran out of the old furniture room and now was hearing a woman's voice praying aloud. That was only at night when I was trying to sleep. And it only happened twice though, but extremely scary for me even at the age of 17. I just always felt like someone was in the guest room with me. I made it a routine to check under the bed before lying in it and inside the closet. Mind you, I was doing none of these things at my home with my dad and stepmom. I'd lay there for what felt like an hour or more, just scared for my life until I would finally pass out into my night's rest. Even though I felt so uneasy at my grandparents, I loved them so much that I never refused to go there. I just dealt with that fright for years just to be with them. I just wonder who was watching me. Was it my grandmother's mother who had passed away long ago? Was it something from the past on that property? I'll never know. I have so many amazing memories growing up with them and visiting that house, but the feeling that house gave me was not like anything I had ever experienced since. And that was the end of that one. First of all, if there was a clown photo, I would have to peace out right there because I have a phobia of clowns. But how bizarre that your grandparents never experienced something, but you did. Unless they were not lying to you in a deceitful way, but maybe just not telling you the truth because they don't want to scare you even more. I have no idea. I wonder what it was, but very, very interesting. I really enjoyed that one and I hope you guys did too. So thank you so much for listening. You'll have to let me know what you guys thought. You can do this by heading over to my YouTube channel and you can leave the comments there or the Facebook page or anything like that. And like I mentioned at the start, if you have your own story, please send it over. I would absolutely love to read it out. And in the meantime, if you do want to keep up with me, you can head on over to my Instagram, which is just at Alien Queen Meg. That is where I'm kind of the most active and I do post a lot. But apart from that, I will catch you in a few weeks time. Stay spooky guys!